The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Infrastructure Develop and modernize the national infrastructure to improve the quality of life for all citizens. Construction, completion and maintenance of roads and bridges for the first green growth, this month in Abdullah Ahmed Street, Group B. The construction project sector and the Ministry of Public Works is responsible of construction, completion and maintenance of roads and bridges for the first green growth, this month and Abdullah Ahmed Street, Group B. The Ministry of Public Works started implementing the first phase of the project in May of 2008 at a cost of 29 million Kuwaiti dinars and will transfer parts of the Jahrai roundabout to tunnels as well as the work of suspended overhead bridges connecting the first ring road on Jamal Abdel Nasser Street and the Sea Road. The second phase of the project includes construction of three free intersections, five car bridges, three tunnels and two pedestrian bridges. In addition to the construction and renewal of phone, water and electricity networks, rainwater, drainage networks and sanitary sewage system. The construction and renewal of street lights and traffic lights with the expansion of current road on both sides and relocation and re-establishment of Al Matabba Mosque. The second phase is located within the project works from the south of the bridge of Riyadh interchange fast with the first ring at the level of the ground surface until it reaches a point at 200 meters from the roundabout gate Jahra. The project includes the implementation of 5 km of highways and sewer drainage and secondary street connected to the first ring inside the city of Kuwait in addition to the replacement and renewal of existing services of water network electricity and telephones, and the network of rain and sanitation. The main objectives of the first ring development project are to achieve a smooth flow of traffic. It will also be a solution to traffic congestion in many areas, especially that the first ring road of the important and vital internal roads, which are experiencing high traffic density, especially at peak times. The first ring project in its third phase was designed to accommodate more than 2,000 cars per hour. Cost of the first ring development project is 32 million Kuwaiti dinars. The remaining time of completion of the second phase of the project is a few more months. Completion percentage of the second phase of the project is at 60%. The annual plan 2017-2018 is a schedule to continue 164 projects that will contribute more than 50 billion in revenue. From Mishra Kuwaiti account, the first train development project phase 2, 8%, three intersections, five bridges, three tunnels, two infantry bridges renewing all service networks. Initiation of the first cycle project phase 2, which includes a range of bridges, tunnels and infrastructure renovation. Picture showing the final shape after the completion of the first ring development project phase 2. New Kuwait government account, the Cairo Street project starts from the first ring street to Baghdad Street to secure continuous traffic. For more information or details regarding Kuwait development projects, please visit the website on the screen. The British Council in Kuwait hosted a university fair that was open to the public in Kuwait City in order to attract new graduates who are seeking to pursue their higher education in the United Kingdom. So the University of Portsmouth is, um, has courses at foundation level, uh, undergraduate, postgraduate and at research level. And we've been working in Kuwait for many, many years and we currently have well over a hundred students from Kuwait. Um, and hoping to recruit more this year as well. 
students from Kuwait um, come onto a range of courses with us. Particularly at the moment, they're really liking our pharmacy course. Um, we're getting students at foundation level moving on into the degree program as well. But also traditional engineering, business, computing, um, and those kind of courses too. But we do have a really, really varied range of courses, including things like sports, sports science, sports management, also um, graphic design, architecture, interior design, and some of the computer-aided design courses too. So it's um, a very varied portfolio. We're only 90 minutes from London, so we're not in the thick of the city, we're a much smaller city, but we're the only university in Portsmouth. So we're in the heart of the city, in the centre. It's a 10, 15 minute walk to get around the city. Everyone kind of gets to know people because it's a very close knit community. Um, but we're also on the south coast. We get better weather than you get anywhere else in the UK. The sun does shine. It's not as hot as Kuwait, but it is still nice. And we um, have a, a seafront, which um, is very good for activities, sports, running, cycling, all of that. And we have a large shopping center called Gun Wharf. Um, the Kuwaitis love to go shopping, and they often go uh, to, they like to live in Gun Wharf, the shopping center, because it's only 10 minutes from the university. Representatives from universities from all over the UK were present to provide information for students in order to make their choices easier for them.